Hi, I'm Vincent R. Curie. Did you know that some real estate agents sell houses for more than others? Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done. Hi, I'm Vincent R. Curie, Better Homes and Gardens, Elliott Associates here in Tampa, an almost 30 year veteran of selling real estate here in the Tampa Bay area. You know, over my 30 years, I've seen a tremendous overflow of real estate agents coming in and out of the business. The turnover rate is amazingly high for people getting into real estate. I've seen some estimates that 95% of people who obtain a real estate license within the first three years are completely out of the business. So the National Association of Realtors constantly has to replenish the agents that are coming in and leaving the business. The reason for this is some real estate agents know how to sell real estate and some don't. People get in with the impression that their family's gonna help them or that their friends are gonna be uh, sending them tons of business. It's much more difficult than that. But the thing I wanna talk to you about today is on the listing side of the transaction, how a listing agent that you select to market your home is gonna get either above market, below market, or average market for your home. It starts out, one of the easiest ways for you to know is when you do the initial contact with them. Do they ask you questions or do they just get your address and then they come up with a number over the phone? Uh, seems like they're miracle workers. They can just know exactly how much your home is worth with a simple phone call. A highly qualified agent will come out to your home. They will not be able to give you not even a ballpark estimate of what your home is worth without coming out to your home to inspect your property. They'll know the age of the roof, the age of the AC. They're gonna see how much staging your home needs. Uh, do you have a lot of dogs? Do you have one dog? Do you have cats? They're gonna be able to tell you how to rearrange your furniture, maybe pack some things away. They're gonna take the time to stage your home correctly. And then they're gonna be able to go back to the office and compare your home to other homes that matched your level of quality and the decor age of roof, make the adjustments, and then they come back and give you the accurate number, which would be the highest and best sale price. Other agents just simply go to Zillow, which is one of the most inaccurate, has been proven over the past decade, one of the most inaccurate ways to come up with a property value is Zillow, which just simply uses a computer algorithm that just analyzes homes in a certain area and pops out an average. If you've got an average home in a cookie cutter community, that number might be pretty accurate, but if you've upgraded your home, if you've recently put a roof, a new air conditioning unit, you've got brick pavers, hardwood floors, you've remodeled your bathrooms, you've remodeled your kitchen, you might wanna hire an expert that's got the experience to make those adjustments to make sure you don't leave money on the table. Many agents like to brag about how many homes that they sell but they're not bragging about how much they're selling your home for. You know, and I'm not here, people are gonna go, oh Vince, oh look at that guy, sour grapes. No, that's not the case. I was the number one ERA agent in the world in 2008, and for five years in a row, I was in the top 10 ERA agents in the world. So I certainly have had my share of selling a lot of homes, but at this stage in my career, I consider myself entering the fourth quarter of my career. I'd like to slow it down a little bit and take the time and really take care of the customers that hire me and make sure that I get them a premium for their home. So you've got those wham, bam, thank you, ma'am kind of agents that are out there. And I understand those people that are trying to just put these massive teams together and they buy huge amounts of Zillow leads. As a consumer, you may not know, real estate agents buy leads from Zillow. So they're really not out generating their own listings and their own uh, uh, buyers, if you will, for your homes. They pay Zillow to give them leads in certain zip codes. Uh, if you really knew how the system operated, you probably would never uh, talk to a Zillow agent at all because you have no idea who they are, who they are or their level of experience. So if you would like a free consultation and you're in the Tampa Bay area, whether buying or selling, you can give me a call at 813-VINCENT. That's 813-846-2368. And hey, check all the properties that are available in the Tampa Bay area right here at tampapad.com. 
That website is updated every five minutes and gives you the most comprehensive, accurate information of homes that are available here in the Tampa Bay area. And visit my website, headofrealestate.com and doggone it while you're here, subscribe to my channel because Google says that that's a good thing. If you like getting this content, you like getting these videos and uh, this information, if it's helpful to you, please subscribe to my channel. Get your friends and family to do the same. I'm Vince Arcuri. Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate in Tampa. Thanks for watching.